Hey guys, what's up? This is PK Tech and I'm back with a new update. So today I'm going to show you how to remove jailbreak from iOS 10.1.1 and upgrade to iOS 10.1.2 and then again jailbreak iOS 10.1.2. So as you might be knowing that iOS 10.1.2 homeware was released a few days ago. So this is very easy and uh, the steps to require is an internet connection with a pretty good speed around 2 to 5 Mbps and uh, you will need an IPSW file to so you need the internet to download the IPSW file so as usual the link is in the description from where you can download this iOS 8.1.2 IPSW file Third is the Pango application you need to download the Pango application which is the jailbreak utility for iOS 8.1 to iOS 8.1.2 and as usual link is in the description for Pango also and the fourth thing you need an iOS you need an iOS firmware and the iTunes with a uh, latest version okay so you can do this process on mac as well as on windows so come on let's go ahead so come on let's guys talk what's new in iOS 10.1.2 and first of all let me inform you guys that it is safe to update to iOS 10.1.2 as usual i just spoke to you and what's new in iOS 10.1.2 so let's talk about that first there are major three updates in iOS 10.1.2 so first one is there are something around Related to iBeacon's uh, stability. Second is for the bug fixations, and the third one is for the in the mail tech mail application for the uh, safety of the data of the mail attachments. So these are the three major updates in the iOS 10.1.2. So come on, let's go ahead, and now I'm sure I'm going to show you how to jailbreak iOS 10.1.2. So let's go ahead. I have a link in the description for where you can download the IPSW file of iOS 10.1.2 so here I have the IPSW file for my iPhone that is the iPhone 5th generation okay now what you need to do is that I'll go into iTunes and I'll select my iPhone so that's my iPhone and uh, basically now what you're gonna do is that you're gonna tap on restore tab okay so you need to press option on a Mac or a shift on a Windows keyboard so it will press it, it will prompt you that you need to turn off find my iPhone. So now I'll go into settings. I'll scroll down to iCloud and here I have find my iPhone. I'm gonna basically turn off and it will prompt you to enter your password. So you're gonna enter your password right there. Okay, so I'll just tap turn off. Now it says that it is turning off find my iPhone and it has successfully turned off. Now I'll go back and now I'll again press option and restore so it will prompt me to select the IPSW file so I'll go to the soft file location iPhone 5 and that is the iPhone 5 10.1.2 IPSW file that's iPhone 5 comma 2 10.1.2 restore IPSW I'm gonna tap open and it says that iTunes will erase and restore your iPhone to iOS 10.1.2 and it will verify the restore with Apple. So we're gonna successfully confirm this and tap on restore. We were both young when I first saw you. I closed my eyes. Okay, so it says hello. I'm gonna slide, and now it directly asks me for selecting my Wi-Fi network. That's my Wi-Fi network. Now I'm gonna enter the password for my Wi-Fi network. And tap join. Okay, so now it says I'm gonna enable. I'm gonna set up a new iPhone. Okay, I'm gonna skip all these processes. Agree. Tap agree. I don't want to end a password right now okay I want to use Siri and I don't want to set the details to Apple so that we have successfully updated to iOS 10.1.2 okay so I'll go into general about and you can see I have updated to 10.1.2 software so now the second task is to jailbreak iOS 10.1.2 and how to jailbreak this so don't worry about that uh, it's quite easy process what you need to do is that uh, basically don't quit off okay now I'll go into jailbreak you 
jailbreak utility and I'm gonna start Pengu so Pengu is the ultimate jailbreak utility to jailbreak uh, 7.1, 7.1.2 and 7.1.1 and now you see iPhone 5.2 with running iOS 10.1.2, 11D257. So I'm gonna tap on jailbreak. Now it says me to change the date. So I'm gonna go to settings. I'll come out. You're gonna go into general. Once you scroll around in general date and time, and you're gonna check out this automatic, and you're gonna change the date to 2nd of June. So once you set the date 2nd of June. The process again starts it says injecting the bundles please wait and now you're gonna see this pangu app all right there onto your i device so the 50 percent of the process has been completed now it says please tap the pangu icon on your i device okay so we're gonna tap on this pangu it says to continue or quit we're gonna tap continue and now it says keep your iphone connected and do not close the application okay so our almost the process has been completed it's processing only just a few minutes are left and it's gonna finish the chill breaking part uh, basically jailbreak also takes some time it's not a very quick process it takes a bit like around 5 to 10 minutes and it says it says completed around 75 percentage of the work now also only a few minutes are remaining and now it's rebooting a device okay so as you guys can see my iPhone is rebooting right there and we'll wait until it responds after rebooting okay so as you guys can see the process has turned on a wait line and now we get the Apple logo right there so it means the iPhone has been rebooted but it's still rebooting let it the let the iPhone start okay so I got the vibration that the iPhone has been started you're gonna quit iTunes again we'll go into Pangu it's cleaning up everything worry and the final restart it's done okay guys so it's again rebooting that's the process going on for shutting down and once you shut down you'll have the pangu application removed and you'll have Cydia so it's done basically let's wait it well that it's reboot and we got the Apple logo right there Okay, so wait a while until your iPhone reboots. Okay, so it's still starting. Okay, so guys, once your iPhone reboots, what you gonna need to do is that I'll just scroll right inside, and I got Cydia and the PP App Store. Basically, this PP App Store is not available through Macintosh. I did it on the Windows, basically, and this Cydia is available through the Macintosh. Okay, so guys, I hope this tutorial was useful for you, and uh, this was very easy task. You know, like basically how to upgrade from iOS 10.1.1 to iOS 10.1.2. So many people would be helped by this video, and. If you were also helped by this video, please do like as well as subscribe to my channel and leave down your comments. What are you successful to do this process? What are your views about IS 10.1.2 and what do you think? What do you expect in IS 8? So now I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Thank you.